Hello everybody. So we have a Victoria Cockatoo update. So yesterday I was on um, YouTube and Victoria wasn't feeling that great. And um, I wasn't sure what was going on. So after the live, um, she got worse. So during the live on the YouTube live, I went live while she was in her nebulizer because she seemed to be having breathing issues. But after the live, um, she became where she couldn't even balance. It was like she didn't even recognize me. And so um, if I stuck her on her perch, she was so wobbly and her wings were just hanging down. It, it was really scary. And it actually reminded me kind of, of when Thomas will have a seizure, which she hasn't had a seizure in years, thank goodness. Um, she was kind of showing the same thing, but not, not, not quite. And then uh, she was also looked like she was having issues breathing. So uh, she, I, she slept with me all night. So um, I did not want to want to put her back in that case. She, she couldn't even perch at all. And um, she, she ended up falling asleep. And I was checking up on her through the night. And her personality was coming back. And um, this morning, uh, she, she looked so much better. Um, and she actually even danced for me. So it was it was just the weirdest thing. Um, so I have um, Dr. G knows and she's just fully booked. And I, I can't just take her to any veterinarian or and, and there's no point to even take her to the emergency vet. It's just going to make her worse. So we're hoping that uh, Dr. G will have a spot um Thursday afternoon and um they can come here and and see her so so we're still playing that by ear um but right now I mean she she's able to perch now but tonight she is going to sleep in, in in my room um I set up a little uh, emergency sleepy setup for her with her heat lamp and just keep her in a warm I didn't take her outside at all today I don't want her to get not even a little cold, um, but she seems to have her balance. She's balancing good. She's acknowledging me like she wasn't even acknowledging me last night. She just seemed like she didn't even know who I was, to be honest with you. So that really bothered me. I don't know if like if that was a stroke. I, I, I don't know. But this morning she has movement and she's doing normal things and she's been eating and drinking water and just you know she's herself so only thing I could think of um that could have led to this you know she has been extremely she's getting hormonal and sometimes you know with those hormones weird things do happen and um it just really affects their body and it affects her uh so I need to book that implant that hormonal implant for her which I'm gonna actually do that tomorrow um for like at the end of the month and it, it's really not going to be even four months until December but I, I just feel she's gonna need it early er um I don't want to waste wait, wait honestly is it, I just don't see this gonna get any better with her hormones but yeah so that's what happened um I'm going to upload this the following day, so um, I should have another update coming up soon. But yeah, so hopefully she'll get to see Dr. G. The reason I didn't take her to the emergency is because she danced this morning for me. Last night, there was really nothing you could do. I mean, they're not going to solve the issue in an emergency room, right? Um, not, not with this. Not with this. It, it would just make things worse, stressing a 50-year-old bird out. Um, so I, I just kept her warm and made her as comfy as I could here. So that is what's going on with our beautiful, sweet, precious Victoria cockatoo. Yeah. <laughs> you know that word, don't you, baby girl? Oh, there she goes. All right, you guys. We love you so much. The queen has things she needs to do. <laughs> Bye.